Hey, this is Jessica with Food Foundation, and today I'm going to make my favorite tea for acid reflux with a bonus ingredient that can reduce inflammation. This is my favorite tea. It's incredibly sweet, it has no sugar, and there's only two ingredients. But I'm going to add a bonus ingredient. So first off, ginger. Ginger is an amazing root. We know that it can help with your immune system. We know that it helps the liver to detoxify. It just pushes things right through the liver and it can help with nausea. So if you feel that sick and feeling like you're not craving any food, um, especially with pregnancy, this is really safe. So I'm just gonna slice it. I'm not gonna peel it, make it super easy and use probably about, let's see, my pot here is going to hold um, about six cups of water. So I'm going to use maybe like a thumb size piece. Um, and the more you chop these down, the more area hits the water and it might get a little bit spicier and a little pungent. Um, so it depends on how spicy you like it. Then I'm also going to add the second ingredient, which is licorice root. So licorice root is not as easy to find in the stores, although you can these days find them in health food stores. If you're still in quarantine and still ordering most of your food, you can order this from Mountain Rose Herbs. I'll put a link down in the comments, but they have really nice certified organic licorice root. You can find licorice root in a tea bag if you don't have access to the actual root. Um, traditional medicinals is found in many stores and it will have the tea. The licorice root, however, is super sweet. It doesn't have that iconic black licorice taste. It just adds a really sweet and a mouth full feeling. And that's because it's mucilaginous, which sounds gross, I know, but that's a word that means it makes a, a mucousy coating. It helps form that mucousy coating in your throat, which is really healing. And especially if you have a sore throat, it can also help balance your blood sugar. So it acts as an adaptogen. And the only time you'd want to be careful with licorice root is if you have really high blood pressure. Um, and if you are pregnant, of course, you're going to want to ask your doctor first. So other than that, you can just add these two ingredients. If I put about a thumb sized piece of ginger, I'm gonna add about three pieces of these, but it's not rocket science. You're just adding in what you like. If you like it sweeter, add more licorice root. If you like it spicier, add more ginger. The bonus ingredient is turmeric. So I just recently started finding fresh turmeric in the grocery store, which is really exciting. Um, most people are, are using the yellow turmeric that's the spice that you see in a yellow curry or taking turmeric by the capsule because it has the compound curcumin, which is a really high dose anti-inflammatory. It also has this deep, dark yellow pigment, which is really healthy because the darker the food, the higher the antioxidants and polyphenols, which are those compounds that help prevent cancer and reduce inflammation in the body. So this is a really great ingredient to add. And I've noticed if I do two or three slices, just like the ginger, it doesn't really change the taste, but it becomes a really pretty color yellow. So you can drink it later, like a warm tea, or you could even ice it and drink it like a mocktail. So once I have my three simple ingredients, I'm going to add my ginger, my licorice root, my turmeric, about an equal amount of all three because I like it to be sweet and spicy and have that beautiful golden hue so that I know that the turmeric is working to help anti-inflame my gut. I'm going to fill this up with water. Mine holds about six to eight cups. I'm gonna bring it to a boil and then turn it way down to a simmer. Put my lid on because this lid has a little bit of holes so it can let the steam pass. And I'm going to let this simmer for about 20 minutes, but I have let it go for an hour on accident before and it was still just as delicious. So just let it go at least 20 minutes and then taste and see. You can have this again, hot 
or cold, and it's going to be delicious. I absolutely love this tea. It's one of my favorites for acid reflux. The licorice root is very soothing on the back of the throat in case I have any of that burning feeling. The ginger helps with that nausea feeling and I know that the turmeric is helping with the inflammation. If you like this video, please show me, hit the like button and share it with your friends that might need a little bit of help with their acid reflux. Thanks for watching.